Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. I'm an intuitive tarot card reader. Welcome to your Do They Miss You tarot love reading. This will be a general reading, having a look to see if your special person does miss you. Now this could be an ex-lover, an ex-partner, someone that, someone that you were once in a relationship with, or maybe you even shared a brief connection and you are now disconnected. This reading could be insightful into your situation and to see if this person does miss you or is thinking about you. Um, it's not for the faint-hearted, it's purely for those that are genuinely curious. So if you want to leave the past in the past, this reading might not necessarily be for you. Um, so I do always uh, encourage my um, viewers to approach these messages with an open mind and an open heart. Um, if you would like, you're more than welcome to check out your other August readings, which are up on my channel and are linked to this video. Otherwise, if you'd like to book in a private reading with me before I go on my break, uh, you're more than welcome to do so. My email is listed below this video, along with a list of prices and services. So let's jump straight into it, Cappies, and see, does this person miss you? A six of pentacles with the tower and the ace of swords okay there's definitely a struggle happening for them uh, let's start off with the six of pentacles now if you dealt with a fellow earth sign a taurus capricorn virgo this might be more heightened but the six of pentacles is a card of giving it's a card of um, overwhelming energy it's inundation because you can see the shower of pentacles that's showering on the tree of life here um, it's they're almost coming non-stop so i definitely feel there's an outpour of uh, emotion here what's interesting is that the tower card is here which can point to calamities chaos destruction and also the fight here with the ace of swords so there is someone that's feeling in a bit of a precarious situation here they definitely feel very, very overwhelmed by the way things ended or they're still overwhelmed when you come up in conversation or if they still hear from you um, or when they're dealing with how things ended between the both of you. So in their own way, they're still dealing with things. Um, I feel like uh, they blame themselves for a lot um, because the Tower card is here and the Ace of Swords is this was there something about fighting for each other or you wanted to see this person fight for you or fight for your relationship or fight for to have something good or was it you that was doing the fighting either way this person blames themselves for a lot and they're still carrying a lot of trauma okay because the tower card is here which is a lot of trauma um but look back to that six of pentacles there might not necessarily be an earth sign but it does point to someone feeling overwhelmed or feeling like they didn't give enough there's someone that wants to give back to you and they might want to shower you with love or with compliments or with openness or with contingencies or with opportunities or options to find love again but there's a notion of um, it's not underwhelming it's overwhelming so it's something that's happening quite a lot for them it could be a, a bubbling or a bottling up of uh, emotions yes but I think because it's in the physical, it's represented by the pentacles, uh, Capricorn. I feel like it's more that this person feels like they want to do a lot for you, like releasing the floodgates. But it might be too little, too late for some of you, okay? Uh, the Tower card is also here, which can point to self-destruction, self-criticism, self-sabotaging behavior or energy. The Tower is unforeseen circumstances, calamities, chaos. So I do feel like there's someone who might blame themselves or someone that's still devastated. Um, now, if they try to fight for you, they're still fighting for you in some way. Uh, so if you broke things off or if they broke things off, the roles could be reversed. But I am reading more into this person. The Tower card could indicate that things came out of the blue or circumstances came out of the blue that this person wasn't ready for. And it completely threw them off. Uh they completely disengaged or they felt very very overwhelmed by things that were happening not sure if it was pressure not sure if it was an argument uh, not sure if it was self-criticism or sabotaging behavior that was detrimental to the relationship um, either way this person felt or feels like they're still in they're still in like recovery mode okay um 
there's still there's still devastation or hurt or pain around this person with the tower card more so maybe if it was a fire sign okay it's ignition things are ignited things are aflame things are ablaze uh, i feel like this person might still be angry okay because with fire comes wrath comes anger opposition and conflict so they might aries sagileo might be feeling there's a lot of anger here okay with the tower could also be deceit and destruction purposeful intent um intentional they then have the Ace of Swords. So I do feel like a part of this person wants to heal from you and wants to get on top of their thoughts again. Um, they also could be fighting to communicate with you or fighting to get their point across. Some of you might hear from this person and it's almost like they're fighting for your attention or they're fighting to get the words out. But there's something about a struggle because as much as the Ace of Swords is quite blessed, it comes from a divine realm, from the universe, the gods, the angels. It does symbolize a message of fighting or removing or cutting away negativity or anything that is detrimental but the butterflies here could symbolize metamorphosis and change i do feel like someone is trying to pick themselves up um, i'm not sure how the way things ended but i think for some of you this person felt very very belittled or They've felt like they lost self-respect or self-esteem from your breakup or from your disconnection in some way here, Capricorn. So a part of them is trying to find strength and courage and valor because that's what the Ace of Swords can represent, um, especially when it comes to mental self-esteem, mental clarity, um, self-confidence, the way they're coming across to people, uh, the relationship they have with themselves and their subconscious. So I really feel like um, with the Ace of Swords here, this person might be fighting for themselves but they might also be fighting for you capricorn in particular it might be an air sign gemini libra aquarius that might want another start with you i feel like they're going to really really push for communication here they might find ways to you know start up small talk or be in touch with you or kick up another connection aces are renewal so it might just be that someone wants another future with you they might a communicate this to you soon capricorn or it might be an air sign who's thinking about this as well i will leave it at that though just want to thank you again for joining don't forget to leave behind a like or subscribe that'd be very much appreciated hope you've enjoyed it thanks again cappy